today's video, I'm going to teach you how to wing in the bridge. So, yeah, let's get into it. So basically, winging is making a different bridge so you don't have to go through the main bridge and possibly get killed. Now this can be very effective if, like I said, you don't want to get killed or they have a hippo and you do not want to go through it. This mainly works if they have a big hippo. So basically, when you spawn in, you want to make this platform up here. And then you just want to go out diagonally. And they are probably going to try and shoot you off, so you just want to like bait them a little bit. Bridge a few blocks, bait them. Especially if you're doing this in like a doubles game. A lot of people are going to be trying to shoot you off. And you want to bridge out until you're about two blocks away from the staircase, like straight forward. And then you just want to bridge out. To about here. And then either you can just go for the jump, but you want to make sure that it's right at the edge. Oh. Wow, this map it goes far. There we go. So you can go like right here, and then you can just jump down, go into the goal. But what you want to do is widen the bridge so they can't shoot you off as easily. So a really quick, quick way to do this is just like this. A lot of people don't know how to do that. Basically, you just want to walk forward, aim ahead of you. And you just want to place the blocks as you're walking. And then, if you're just walking like this, you can just cheat a bridge. And then go across. So now you have a thicker bridge, it's harder for them to shoot you off. So that's about it on how to wing. Um, so yeah, this is just going to be a quick video. Um, by the way, this is my 100 subscriber pack. So if you want it, go subscribe. It'll be released at 100 subs. Well, once I hit 100 subs and Leo Bernad, his channel will be in the description once he hits um, 350 subscribers. So yeah, if you want this pack, go subscribe. And if you don't want this pack, still subscribe because that'd be pretty nice. So yeah, hope you guys enjoyed. Bye. Hey guys, in today's video, I'm going to show you how to block in on a one layer defense, a two layer defense, and a three layer defense. So yeah, let's hop into it. First of all, with a one layer defense, when you're approaching it, obviously this is pretty impractical because it's just a wool bed defense most of the time, so you can just break it. But if it's something like an obsidian and you want to block in, you can just approach it. You want to jump, place a few blocks above your head, do that. Now, once you're in this position, place a block here, here. You can either place a block here, 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 and here, and then sort of do an S pattern. Or you can just go up like that. Now, I'm not the best at this since it's a one layer defense, but yeah. That's very slow. Also, I can't click today for some reason. So yeah, that's a one layer defense. This is a two layer defense, and I'll show you how to block into this. Now you just want to break the first block, place two blocks above your head, and place two blocks there, two blocks there, or, like I said, do the S. Now this is a lot simpler than the one layer defense, because you don't have to place these two blocks. So yeah, this is what it looks like. Let me do that again. That was pretty good. But yeah, that's two layer defense. Now three layer defense is pretty simple. So you basically, you just want to go in like this and go one, two, and then once you're in this position, you always want to mine down two blocks. So you might think, oh, let me just go here, here, and here. But it's actually faster if you go here, here, and here. So it's one, two, and then back. But I also made this right here. So you can just drop in immediately and just like this. Let me show that to you again. So it's just 
one, two, and three. And you can do it like one, two, and three as well. I can do this pretty fast. As you can see, that was really fast. Um, it takes a few tries, many tries to learn, that is. You're not always gonna be able to do it perfectly in game, but if you practice a lot, you'll get pretty consistent at it. And you don't really need to always do it that fast. If you want to block in, you can just, you can just drop down and place a few blocks. But if there are like four people on the bed, then you're gonna want to block in pretty fast. So, man, I cannot click today. But yeah, that is how to block in to a bed defense. Now, let me just cover this really quick. Okay, now, sort of as a part two, I'm gonna show you how to block into a hippo. Okay, now you're just gonna walk up to the center, mine two blocks, go in, turn around, place the two blocks, and just keep doing that over and over again, and block it up. Another thing that you can do is if you're walking up, you can just jump over here, place two blocks above your head and around so they don't jump down on you immediately, then place two blocks and block in. Then you're pretty much free to score. And this is what that looks like. So yeah, that's how to block in on a hippo and a bed fence. Hope you guys enjoyed this video, and hopefully it was able to help you in some way. So yeah, go subscribe for this pack. I already explained it a bunch of times, but yeah, go subscribe. Bye.